Today I'm going to show you how to make a little person out of flower pots. I've wanted to do this for years and uh, finally had the extra flower pots to um, create one. So to get started on this project, you're going to need two flower pots that are going to make the head and the body and then four smaller flower pots, two for the arms and two for the feet. Or the second one that I'm going to make, I'm going to use wooden balls for the feet and for the hands just to give you two different types um, that you can create. And then you're going to need some craft paint, a piece of twine, some scrap ribbons, uh, scissors, some paint brushes, um, the wooden balls. If you're not going to use these for the feet, the only balls you'll need are uh, four small ones for inside the flower pot that help to hold it together. And then a hot glue gun. So the first step you want to do is, um, I always draw my face on just a scrap piece of paper, what I'm thinking of doing. And then I just pencil it onto the flower pot. And then I also penciled the um, collar on her shirt. So that's how it looks. So then once you pencil it on here, then you just want to start by painting different sections. I usually start with the eyes and then the mouth. And you don't have to erase the pencil. You're just going to paint right up to the line and um, do it that way. So that's basically all you need to do for her. Uh, face and body is just start filling in the design and I you'll notice I did not paint her skin color I liked to keep it the terracotta color but if you wanted a different color you could do that if you do you would paint it first and then draw your um, face on but in this case I'm not painting the base so this is the size paintbrush that I've used so far and what I did was I painted the white and then the brown the pink the red and the fine work here then I'm going to take a wider brush to paint around it for the, her hair and I'm going to take the small brush and you just put some paint mine's pretty low on the just put a little bit of paint Make sure it's not too much, but you're just gonna drop it and that'll give her, her circles for her eyes. Like so. And then um, the other thing I just wanted to point out is when you're doing fine work like this, it's good to have a good amount of paint on your brush. Um, it gives you more flexibility to paint in small places. So the next thing I did was for the eyebrows, since it's so, so thin and around the eye, I just used a Sharpie and I'm just gonna lightly trace the outside and the eyebrow so that way it pops out. Like so. So the dots, you do the same way you do with the eyes, which is you just put a little bit of paint on your paintbrush on a thin paintbrush and just put touch the tip. And how I do my dots, like here I have three and then in between two and then three and then in between two. So if you do that pattern, you'll have equal spread of dots throughout her body. So now I'm gonna do, I painted the large balls red to match for her feet and I painted these are gonna be her hands. Um, so I painted them white so that she has gloves. But I wanted to show you if you're going to choose to use the um, small little flower pots for her feet and hands, basically what you do is you take one of the small balls and you tie a big knot in the end, feed it through and then feed it up. So each one has a ball and that's what's gonna hold it in place so it doesn't go through the hole. So basically you just take your twine and you uh, put a little piece of tape around the end like I always show you to do. And then you're just gonna take 
a ball, those are still drying, but you're gonna take a ball and you're gonna push it through and then tie a big knot in the end and then you're gonna feed it through the flower pot so that that stays secure. So now the next step is to take lace and put it around the bottom of her body and on her arms if you're doing the flower pots for the arms. Um, since I'm not doing the arms, I'm doing the string and the beads. Instead, I decided to use a more substantial piece of lace and I'm just gonna hot glue it just with little dots around the outer edge of the flower pot, uh, just covering that whole rim. Now, whether you're doing the flower pot arms or the beads, you basically do the same thing with the arms. It's one piece of string with the flower pots or the beads on the end. So what I do is I would put the bead in just like it is, then feed through the flower pot and then put in a flower pot and then another bead and tie it off. And you just want to judge where you want your arms. And I like the one piece of string because I'm going to hot glue it down here and then I'm going to hot glue her head right on top. So that way it's nice and secure. Um, you're not going to have to worry about it falling. Um, so that's what you want to do regardless as to which arms you're using. And just make sure that the arms are a little bit towards the front. You don't want them exactly halfway or towards the back. So once I've secured the string for the arms, then I'm gonna run hot glue around the rim of the pot and then put her head on top. Yeah. Now with the legs, whether you, again, you have the balls or the flower pots, you're gonna run a string of hot glue and then you're just gonna put your string right into the glue and you just want one on the one side and one on the other side. So you wanna make sure she's facing correctly when you lay her down. Um, and that's how you'll glue your legs in. So this is what it should look like inside. I just ran some glue on top just to make sure it was secure. Then the next step you wanna do, I have um, little flowers that I found that I'm gonna stick on her dress as buttons and then I just made a simple bow for this one and I'm going to just hot glue that to the side of her head so then for her earrings I just have these little gold beads and I just put a little dot of hot glue and then I put the bead on for her earring so whether you choose to do the one that's got all the pots um, or the one with just the beads, I think they're both adorable little decorations for either inside or out. Again, if you're gonna put this outside, I would polyurethane it um, after you paint it so that it's more secure. And you can either put artificial flowers in it or as I did here, a little real plant um, and it makes a perfect decoration for the top of her head. So if this is your first time watching, welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe if you want to receive future notification of posts, hit the bell. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.